Hey guys, welcome to another one of my little demonstration videos for a game. This one is for Cortex Command. This is a game by Data Realm Software, and this is build 18. The reason I'm deciding to, um, to make a video about this now is because build 18 is going to be the last test build before they're finished, um, with making the first retail version, which should be out in less than a week from now. So I figured maybe by showing you a skirmish battle that I'm going to suck horribly at, I might encourage some people to go and um, get this game when it is released. And there will be a link to the website where you can see the latest news about this game. Anyway, you start with a brain chamber that they ask you to um, place on the map. And then you have a selection over here on the right of different um, materials, different parts that you can build your base out of. Well, um, I'm going to do just that. I'm going to build a little bit of a base to use in this video. Um, now, a lot of people have like really good strategies of what a good base looks like because of this reason and that reason. I really don't know that much about this game, but I'm kind of taking it into my own hands to make a uh, video about this because there aren't really a whole lot of just plain and simple gameplay videos for this, and so I can't just link to one or something that I think is good because I didn't see any that I really liked that kind of show the progression of the game from start to finish. And, um, well not from start to finish, you know, but from the beginning of the title screen until you get pretty deep into a skirmish mode. And, like I said, I don't know what I'm doing for the most part, but I do know the basic, some of the basics of this game, so I'm going to try to demonstrate at least that. I'm just kind of making a couple little twists and turns just to buy me enough time to make this video and show you a couple things before somebody gets in here and destroys my brain. Because that is the focus of this game, is to destroy the enemy's brain. And there's going to be some AI players running around here as soon as I hit go that are going to be trying to get in here and destroy stuff and make things difficult for me. And I accidentally just placed a floor tile that I didn't mean to place, but that's okay. Um, I'm just going to hit go. You start out with just your brain, and, um, well, the only thing you can do here right now is go to the buy menu. And, um, let's just take the default stuff for now. The default guy, the SMG, and, um, the medium digger, and hit buy. Then we just need to place uh, a mark on the map of where to deliver all of this to. Well, I have a little um, trick up my sleeve that I'm going to use. I'm going to deliver it right there. And then when this dropship lands, I'm going to block up the entrance to my base with it. I'm going to hit to deploy my troops out of it. And then I'm going to fight off some of these guys that are trying to kill me and get in. I'm reloading, firing, firing. Okay, we killed that guy. Now one of the things that you'll notice is that dead ships and dead bodies and everything, they all become tangible, walk-onable, destroyable parts of the terrain when they die. So, um, basically, the environment is fully destructible, and I'm bleeding to death, so I'm going to order myself another... Um, person. I'm going to switch back to my brain, go back to the buy menu, and um, order another one of these guys up. Oops, didn't mean to do that. There we go. And I'm going to put it right there again to block up that entrance even further. And you get control of these dropships, but you can just let them kind of land and do whatever they want. Hit that button to make him blast off again. Um, I'm back in control of this guy. I'm going to put him there and put him in um, sentry mode. I don't know how well any of these modes work yet, but...
Oh, this guy's getting raped too. By this guy who just landed. Oh god, okay. Um, like I, like I already said, I'm not very good at this. I'm getting killed left and right. Well, let me show you something kind of cool. If it works. I'm going to try and kill this guy without firing a single another shot at him. Because I'm going to drop a drop shot on him. Oh, he went down there. That's okay. I'll just trap him in there. No, even if you get trapped in a spot like that, you're not completely stuck because you can always go to the. Um, oops, I'm hitting the wrong buttons. Um, you can always go to that menu and select your digger. If your character has a digger, you don't have to give them one. But as you may remember from the um, menu that I was in, we gave him one because it was default. Um, this is the medium digger, so it's not all that powerful, but it can dig through sand really easily, and it can dig through dirt kind of easily, and it will eventually dig through rock as well. The heavy digger is better for getting through rock, but if you sat there and tried at it for long enough, you'd eventually dig through it. Anyway, um, basically the goal is to defend your own brain from getting destroyed by the enemies and simultaneously try and destroy your enemy's base. Um, I'm not going to actually be trying to win in this, this is just a demonstration. Um, I'm going to have to switch back to my gun now and kill some of these enemies before they pile up here too much. There's pathing issues in this version of the game, but in the final release that they're... Excuse me, I'm about to sneeze. Oh, okay, it went away. Anyway, in the release that they're planning, that they're working on right now, they have apparently fixed a lot of those um, pathing issues. I'm gonna kill these guys with my digger. Um, because my is almost out of bolts. Okay. Taken care of. Anyway, and you can pick up um, things that enemies drop. I usually don't worry about it. Sometimes I pick them up, but this is just a test video. I'm not going to, you know, mess with it. And falling damage is existent in this game. You don't want to fall too far, otherwise you will die. Um. Oh, before I forget go back this way. Oh, crap. Um, well, to get more money in this game so you can order more things, I'll have to show you elsewhere in a moment. Um, you have to dig to those gold places in the ground. You see those yellow spots all up in the ground. And... Yeah, you want to dig into those and retrieve the gold, because when you retrieve gold, you get more money and you can buy more stuff. And we're going to lose this, because I have no more money to buy anything else, and those guys just killed off my last guy that I was able to afford. So, this has been... Let's suck horribly at Cortex Command. This has been Carl Zor, and I'll see you all later. Oh, and don't forget to go back and watch the Symphony of the Night that I recorded last night. Goodbye.